Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're back with my girl, Bossip Editor in Chief. Yes, she is Deputy F Editor. That is Denny Canada. Both. You'll take both of them, I'll girl. Take both. I like that. Okay, Editor in Chief. Editor in Chief. Editor in Chief. Deputy yeah. Editor. Uh, what, you want me to help? You need me to broke the deal for you. Push it in there. Push it I in there. I can the deal. No worries. So listen, the people were very busy over yes. the last couple of days. We had Essence. We had so much going on, yes. and you're here to give me all of the scoop and all of the yes. tea in Hollywood. Yes. But how was your Essence? Because I know you were down uh, in New Orleans too. I had the best time, Quad. You did. Like, I was trying to come see you at the convention center, but traffic was crazy. I get it, girl. Girl, but I went to this own TV party. Yes. That was a lot of fun at yes. Legacy Kitchen. I ended up at Kofi Cerebo's house party. Oh, girl, you going to? Wait a minute, y'all going to house party? You're going to house party? How was it? Were the boys cute? The, the boys are really cute. <laughs> the boys are. The boys are really cute. Did you meet anyone, Danny? No. Okay. I just looked. I was just peeping in the corner. Oh, okay, you just got <laughs> you know, just, Yeah, you know, just looking, just looking. All right, then. Like, nothing's time. wrong with that. You could have called me, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, you um, know, I should have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to talk Next about time. marriage boot camp. Yes. Because you yes. can call me now. We're I, single girl, these days. I'm yes. not married anymore. All right. Okay? All All right. right. <laughs> well, anyway, marriage boot camp. <laughs> Who is the newest person to join the cast of marriage boot camp? Okay. Jocelyn Hernandez. We all know her from Love and Hip Hop of Atlanta. Of course. She's moved on. She is a Wee TV star now. So mm. she will be on marriage boot camp. She has a new boyfriend. Mm. His name is DJ Ballistic. And they will be on she's the show. She's not married? I thought she was married. No, she's not married. Oh, no. Okay. No, not married. You know, she was previously with Stevie J. Mm -hmm. Now she has a new man. They're going to rehab their relationship on this show. Don't know what their issues are, but apparently they have some. But I also hear... Do you have to have issues to be on marriage boot camp? camp? Or is it just a fine-tuning type of thing? Well, maybe. Can, can you it just have, be. like, a good relationship but just want to keep it good? It could, like, but maybe they'll bring something out like you didn't know that was wrong. Oh, so and then you go home uh, with a messed up marriage. Uh, okay, uh, then. Uh, Something okay, like I got that. It. I got it. I got so it. she'll be on there. Reportedly, Hazel E will be on there as oh, well. And okay. Janelle Evans from Teen Mom, she's supposed to be on that season All as well. All right. Well, that's going to be very busy. I'd like very to see how busy. it shakes out. Girl. I don't know. Break every chain, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about uh, Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Tommy. So Tommy. has she been released from jail? She's, Tommy's out of jail. She is clean and sober. Mm. Um, she was in jail very briefly for allegedly assaulting her daughter. Um, she spoke with our sister website, uh, Hello Beautiful, and she mm -hmm. said that that is simply not true. There were rumors that she actually grabbed her daughter by the hair and drug her around her school because she was acting up in class. But Tommy said that did not happen. That is a lie. Um, she did go to jail. She also went to rehab, so she's clean and sober now. She has a problem with alcoholism, but she is all better and she's ready to just move on from all this and she's releasing new music. Mm, that's good. I love mm -hmm. to hear some new music. Yeah, uh, just a different strategy, a different approach to life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and being focused on what's important. I know right. a lot of times, so many things can be coming at you at one time. Right. You kind of get off the beaten path of what's mm -hmm. really real. Yeah, but she's she's ready to move on. Mm -hmm. She seems like she's really grown from good all for this. her. Good so, yeah. for her. Well, speaking of one other thing that's really real. Yes. It's a hot summer, and so is oh, Lala yes. Anthony. Oh, girl. What Lala. is happening with Lala? Honey? Lala is having a hot girl summer. Yes. Now this comes after she already told People Magazine that she is in legal discussion to move on from her husband Carmelo Anthony but she is oh. taking everything in stride she has been posting about her hot girl summer she was actually at Essence Fest mm -hmm. she was dancing to City Girls Act Up okay you know I like unbothered okay. and so now people are saying Lala is living her best life she's not worried about all this she's not stressed out you know she and Carmelo they actually originally separated in mm -hmm. 2017 yeah it was some got time got back ago. together in 2018 and then now they're gonna move on again yeah so. yeah it could be tough because there was a baby involved wasn't it there was an outside child yep, there's yeah there's so a that's tough. baby that's really tough it's really tough, mm -hmm. you know, and then there are new infidelity rumors now. So she's just mm -hmm. living her best life. She looks carefree. She looks great. She looks amazing. She's amazing. She fun. does. She does. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk a little bit about my homegirl, Phaedra Parks, honey. Phaedra the people Parks. are saying she got a new man, honey. Yes, so Phaedra. A new man after the other yes, new man? Right. So it's a new, new man. A new, new man. Okay, so another hot girl summer, right? Okay. So Phaedra was Where dating. Where are they hanging out at? We need to be there. there. We need to be there. Okay. Right? I thought I was going to meet somebody at Essence. I didn't meet nobody. But it's not. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Phaedra was dating Tone Capone, who was on uh, WGCI in Chicago. Mm. Now she's with Medina Islam. He mm. is an actor yes, from he the Haves and the Have Not. She looks very happy mm. with him. Um, interesting, interestingly enough, yes. he previously dated another housewife, who? Claudia Jordan. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, oh cool. yes, they were. Wait a minute. Up. Hold on. Now this is T B and yeah, Spill because yes. that was a comment under. Phaedra's picture, picture with Tone from Claudia uh -huh. saying, oh, he's not really for you. He's okay, for then. everybody. And then now Phaedra's not with Tone and she's with Claudia's ex-man. I mean, you know, 
know, things happen. Coincidence, right? Well, I, I had a conversation with Faye. Oh, tell me. And um, <laughs> this man seems to be very nice to her. He, I'm just going to leave it at that. Nice. She seems to be very, very yes. happy with I, him. I've interviewed him before, and he was very sweet. And he's tall and mm -hmm. very handsome, so mm -hmm. I, I can understand that. Yeah, he is fine. Got a nice smile on him and All everything, right honey. All right Boot now. up. All okay, right. then. Now, who's coming back to uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta? Yes. Who can we expect? Is Kenya that a new Moore. Okay, Kenya okay. Kenya Moore is coming back where she belongs. She's coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She tweeted that picture out. Okay, she the looks address. Great. Yes. So basically, it's going to be Kenya, and she's going to show off her baby and her husband. She's very excited about that. Moreover, she is actually in a very good place with Portia Williams. Mm -hmm, They've been posting good. pictures together, posting pictures with their baby. Mm -hmm. So. I'm very excited to see it. She was also with Candy and she was with Cynthia. Oh, I heard this picture just got an uproar. What happened with this picture? It's a picture. Oh, well, you know, people always are trying to be shady, but they look like they're happy and they're having fun. And basically, people were saying that Kenya is cool with Cynthia and that's making issues with Nene, of course, who was upset that Kenya showed up at Cynthia's party. So they think there's going to be some more drama right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, this season of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta should be good then, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, so tell me about this new female rapper that Jermaine Dupri is producing. Okay, so Jermaine Dupri got into some hot water when he compared uh, the current state of female rappers to strippers. He said he's what? not impressed. He was just saying, basically, there's no real talent out there. So that set off people like Cardi B, So he actually. doesn't think that Cardi is talented? Right, and Cardi actually responded herself, and she said, look, I know what I rap about, but there are women who talk about more substance. She named, like, Tierra, Tierra Whack, Rhapsody. She named off all these names and other female rappers jumped into and responded. So after that, uh, Jermaine actually decided to, to announce a female hip hop cypher. Mm -hmm. And so for that, he's going to try and find like this new female hip hop artist that he can like sponsor and promote. Oh, that's good. He knows how to make the money, child. Oh, absolutely. Let me get, some, let me get one of the biggest artists to get mm -hmm. upset, right? And then have her to say something. Then let me release something. Exactly. No, get your coins, honey. Get well, your listen, coins. It's always great to have you here with Thank us, you. Danny, at The Circle. Uh, for more hot tea, you can follow her on Bossip on also social media platforms.